I want to do a mite count. I'm going to get 300 bees in the jar. The mites are supposed to float to the top. A piece of mesh from an old bottom board. See, it's very easy. You can just do it with your kitchen scissors. And then it fits in here. That's it. So then you can put the bees in there, put the sugar in there, and then you, you can roll them. I want to get a half a cup of bees. Okay, I'm not going to mark my jars. It's not necessary. The bees already did it because this lid has more wax on it and this lid has barely any wax on it. You want to make sure to put those bees back in the hive they came from to avoid that they would be seen as intruders and get attacked. This is a very, very beautiful brood frame. I'm going to try to get them in this jar. One scoop of bees without the queen. Yeah, hopefully that's about 300 bees in there. Half a cup of bees, lots of them on the ground. Hopefully not my queen. I found this video on how to do a mite test using powdered sugar filmed at the USDA Honeybee Lab in Louisiana. We need two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I just took normal sugar and I ground it up really finely. And we're gonna dump this in on top of the bees. Looks like cement. we're going to gently roll the bees in the powdered sugar so that they're really well covered, so that the mites drop off the bees and we can shake them out. Hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. So it's been about two minutes and we're going to shake our bees pretty strongly so you don't want to hurt the bees, but you want to make sure you get all your mites out. We have water here and we're going to rinse off the mites. Just tap water. The sugar dissolves. So make sure when you look closely the mites are moving and that's a pretty good giveaway that they are varroa mites. The mites are supposed to float to the top so I don't think we have any mites. I guess that's good news. No mites. I'm going to release these bees. Yeah, they seem to be alive. The bees made it back in the hive, I made it back in the house, it was a good day. In the next episode I'm going to show how I waxed some frames.